Well, YouTube then. Yo, we a lot saying so it's your boy, your boy here, and today I'm going to be talking about one thing, YouTube. And right now, it is in a very difficult place. And what I mean by that is because that ever since the Wall Street Journal and the PewDiePie scandal, that kind of stuff like that, uh, which by the way, you can check out uh, via that video which I talked uh, quite in depth on that uh, situation, of course. So uh, yeah, but anyway, since that, um, there have been many uh, companies boycotting uh, YouTube adverts and revenue and advertising and that kind of stuff like that meaning that the revenue that big YouTubers are getting has been seriously affected so much so that have been reports of many YouTubers leaving YouTube which is really really sad and not only is this affecting the bigger YouTubers it's also affecting the smaller YouTubers the ones who are affected the most because they are getting the biggest amount of hit from this ad boycott thing that is going on on YouTube. And my thoughts on this is, for the big YouTubers, it's their choice. I mean, they have done everything. I mean, look at KSI, for example. A couple of months ago, he disappeared off the face of YouTube, and we've never seen him since. So, um, that is a big big shock another one as well i just watched recently as well is comedy shorts game he's actually thinking about retiring from youtube because of this ad boycott shit that's been going on uh, on youtube so that should tell you all you need to know about how bad the ad boycott has been going and my take on this is that it is really really bad and i feel like there needs to be a solution to this because you know youtube it could die, you know, because many YouTubes I think about leaving, and it, yeah, like I said, it could die because of that. So we, there needs to be a solution, maybe some way that we can persuade big companies to get behind YouTube and to continue to like support and advertise YouTubers, because without them, we wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be having this dream of becoming this big time YouTuber or becoming the next KSI or whatever. Or, Another of these YouTubers um, who are like KSI, Comedy Shorts Gamer, those kind of people would be in those positions, so it is huge. Now as with myself, um, I actually don't make any revenue. I'm going to be completely honest, I don't make any revenue at all. I am actually a college student, of course, um, you know, trying to make a living, whatever, in the future, whatever. But also, um, you know, when I was doing YouTube on the side, I really, really you know, envisioned myself, you know, be get, get into the stage of, you know, maybe becoming the next case or becoming the next comedy shorts gamer. So I strived towards getting to that goal, to be honest. So, um, yeah, but that doesn't mean, you know, I'm just going to leave uh, the college and all that kind of stuff like that off to the side and not think about it and always focus on YouTube. I'm going to have that on the side just in case this YouTube thing backfires or whatever, something like that. So, um, yeah, so I'm actually pretty good in terms of YouTube, to be honest. But unfortunately, some YouTubers aren't that lucky, to be honest, because uh, believe it or not, they've actually quit their like jobs, the full-time jobs or part-time jobs, whatever, just to pursue YouTube. And because now they, this ad boycott is going on now, you know, this is really taking a big toll specifically on those YouTubers. And I feel really, really bad for them, you know, because they have taken that big, big sacrifice to, you know, maybe one day, you know, make a real big living off of this. And now that it's now sort of blown up in their face to a real extent that, you know, that they could have to actually get another job as well is quite um, sad, to be honest. So in many respects, YouTube has a bigger responsibility of making sure that the YouTubers get paid because without the, those big YouTubers, without the fans, you know, uh, who support those YouTubers, YouTube wouldn't be in this thriving world that it is today. So I feel like this whole, they need to sort itself out. It needs to, they need to find some sort of way, if they can, to make sure that these YouTubers, or if any, you know, who are worthy, can get paid, um, you know, in a fair way, to be honest. Because if you're not aware, TV is dying. We all know this, everyone knows this, and uh, as a result, um, the internet and YouTube pretty much is the new sort of TV 
for the future pretty much. It's the new revolutions, new innovation to the future of course. So that, like I said, that leaves a big responsibility for YouTube to make sure it still fries with YouTubers, creative YouTubers, busting out very, very creative and very innovative videos of course. You know, for instance, you got um, who's a good example? Casey Neistat, actually, with his vlogs and all that. You know, they're really, really cool. They're really, you know, creative and very imaginative. So, in that respect, you know, that kind of content or something similar, or even something like KSI or Road Shaw, or even something like that, should be, you know, it should be respected and should be getting paid as a result so in that respect you know YouTube has a real real responsibility and the fact that it's at that you know YouTube's sort of in a really bad stage at the moment there needs to be change so that YouTube can continue to thrive in a very positive way as a result whether that will be uh, fan funding or even better still uh, YouTube giving back to the YouTubers by paying them of course for the content that they produce something like that you know which would make um, YouTubers continue to thrive and make videos and to make YouTube you know thrive pretty much so um, yeah but that's one or two of my suggestions like I said I'm not a genius I don't know I have all the answers so that's all I got that's all the suggestions I got and hope and YouTube really need to think carefully about this because you know the decisions that they make regarding this ad boycott shit that's been going on could decide the fate of YouTube that's all I'm saying so hopefully YouTube does make the right decisions does something really really sort of inventive so that YouTube can continue to thrive and so that YouTubers do get paid to be honest because YouTube you know is the new sort of big job whatever that's been sort of spreading across the world of course as well as me i'll still be creating videos i'm not going to be like uh the comedy shorts game or ksi whatever that's going to quit as soon as this all shit's going on whatever i'm still going to create videos i'm still going to make really really awesome videos for you guys because you guys are the ones that fuel me to make youtube videos without you guys I wouldn't be doing YouTube. So with that, I highly do appreciate every single one of your likes. Whether it be dislikes, I don't mind to be honest. Um, comments, subscribers, all that kind of stuff like that. I do really do appreciate it because you're the ones who do it for me. And um, yeah, I am going to reward you guys with some excellent, excellent content. Whether it be career mode series, whether it be races, whether it be whatever, challenges, you name it. I will bring it to you guys no matter what and that's about it so um, yeah so um, be sure to look out for some great great content in the future regardless of this ad boycott shit that's been going on. Thanks so guys that's it for this video comment down below if you have any thoughts on this ad boycott stuff that's been going on um, also leave a like if you enjoyed this video dislike I don't care um, subscribe if you're new and uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy. It's your boy, your boy. I'm out. Peace.